Hello kids. Hope you all are doing well. Kids, today we will learn parts of speech. Do you know what is part of speech? We can characterize English words into nine basic types called parts of speech or word classes. It's quite important to recognize part of speech. This help you to analyze sentences and understand them. It also help you to construct good sentences. So there are eight parts of speech in english language which are noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction and interjection Part of a speech indicate how the word functions in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. An individual word can function as more than one part of speech when used in different circumstances. Understanding parts of speech is essential for determining the correct definition of a word when using the dictionary. So let's begin and discuss each part of speech. Noun a noun is a name of person, place, thing or idea like man, boy, mall, house, home, zoo, happiness. Pronouns Pronouns are the words you substitute for specific nouns when the reader or listener knows which specific noun you are referring to. You might say Jennifer was supposed to be here at 8. Then follow it with She's always late. Next time, I will tell her to be here a half hour early. Instead of saying Jennifer's name three times in a row, you substituted she and her and your sentence remained grammatically correct. Adjectives. Adjectives are the words that describe nouns. Think about your favorite movie. How would you describe it to a friend who's never seen it? You might say the movie was funny, engaging, well written when you are describing the movie with these words. You are using adjectives. Verbs. Go. Be amazing. Run as fast as you can. Win the race. Congratulations. Every participant who put in the work and completed these words are verbs. Verbs are the words 
that describe specific action like running winning not all verbs refer to literal action throw verb that refer to feelings or status of being like to be loved and to be are known as non action verbs the verb that do refer the literal action are known as action verb adverbs an adverb is a word that describe an adjective a verb or an other adverb let's take a look i entered the room quietly quietly is describing how you enter the room a cheetah is always faster than a lion always is describing how frequently a cheetah is faster than a lion faster is adjective over here prepositions tell you the relationship between the other words in a sentence like i left my bike leaning against the garage in this sentence against is the preposition because it tells us where i left my bike she put the pizza in the oven without the preposition in we do not know where the pizza is conjunctions conjunctions make it possible to build complex sentences that express multiple ideas i like marine sauce i like alfredo pasta i don't like ketchup each of these three sentences express a clear idea there is nothing wrong with listing your preference like this but it's not the most effective way to do it you can say it like this i like marina sauce and alfredo pasta but i don't like ketchup in this sentence and and but are two conjunctions that link your ideas together interjection interjection are expression that can be stand on their own within sentences these words and phrases often carry strong emotions and convey reactions like oh ho hooray ouch ah uh. Please subscribe our YouTube channel Hope to Glow